Hey guys, so the most recent video that I posted was about changing this assembly latch locking port assembly for the plug that goes into your Tesla Model 3. Um, there's a lot of things that I found out about this and I'm going to diagnose it and share that with you guys. So let's go check that out. Here's the entire assembly of uh, the latch port that locks your charge plug into your uh, Tesla. So what you're going to have to do is use a T20 Torx to take these screws out. So, so while I'm taking that apart, what you would have to expect when going to the Tesla service center is a one hour minimum diagnostic fee, which is about $200. On top of that, there is the labor. And that labor would be about two to three hours to complete this job, which is an extra $600. So you're already up to $800, and that's not even including the part itself, which cost me 80 bucks. Put those off to the side. And this is just the plastic housing assembly, so we don't need that. And here is the latch that I needed to replace that ended up being a, a good part. I'm going to work on taking this apart and we'll take a deeper dive into this. So now that I have this apart, this left piece right here is pretty much a servo that moves the locking latch up and down. Right here, it latches on to this piece and locks and unlocks your charge plug. So the one piece that I have actually left out is this O-ring. If you couldn't tell, this O-ring is very outstretched and very used. So what ended up happening is when this shaft was moving up and down through this housing, this O-ring was actually expanding much more than it was supposed to. And by doing that, it was rubbing up against these inner walls, preventing this from moving up and down. Originally, what we ended up using is this red and tacky grease, which ended up helping. But believe it or not, for the silicone O-rings, that's not what you want to use. What you want to use is this Super Lube synthetic grease. It is specifically made for these rubber O-rings because the red and tacky grease might have expanded this O-ring substantially more than it was supposed to. And believe it or not, this entire piece was all good. All I, If I would have taken this apart earlier before buying that original assembly, I would have ended up finding out that all I really needed to do is replace this $5 O-ring that I could have found online and usually these o-rings having a tough time taking this out these o-rings are a lot stiffer and they're not as flexible so once you seat this in if i were to put this in now you could tell that it's it's expanding and, and not even wanting to go through so pretty much what ended up happening is that this O-ring was the main cause of this failure. So now that we've taken it apart, it's funny, it actually wasn't the entire assembly. It was just a simple O-ring that was overstretched and overdue with the amount of wear and tear that the locking latch goes up and down when locking your charge plug. Now at Tesla, you'll go and pay for the diagnostics fee and they will figure out what's wrong with the car, but then after that, they will take that part, deem it as a bad part. So what they'll do is they'll take that part, throw it away, and replace a new one. Now, whether or not that is worth doing uh, after a certain amount of parts, that ends up adding up quickly. But then again, you also have to think about all the hours that it takes to diagnose something and break it down to one small item. I'm glad to be able to share this with you guys because now that a latch that is locking your charge plug goes bad, you'll end up finding out that it's only a simple $5 O-ring. Yes, that's something you'll have to do on your own. Tesla will not do this. If you end up telling them, they'll end up replacing the part and you'll still end up being stuck paying that $80 for the part itself, not including all that labor. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys subscribe. See you guys later.